On this video, we'll be able to observe the comparison among two different mechanisms of cell death. Imaged in 3D and without any stain with NanoLife's new technology and product, the 3D Cell Explorer. Case 1, apoptosis of mouse embryonic stem cells. On the left panel is represented the map in 2D. I'm scrolling through the cell in Z to see the 96 focal planes of the image. On the right panel, you have the 3D reconstruction as obtained with our software skill. Each color corresponds to a different refractive index range in the cell. At this stage, the cells are still alive and we can clearly see their flat morphology as well as they are still adherent to the bottom of the dish as shown in the 3D panel. On this first video, we'll be able to observe the full process of death by apoptosis of mouse embryonic stem cells. Apoptosis is also called programmed cell death. Apoptosis is a physiological process inherent in all the cells, intended to eliminate a specific group of cells to preserve the overall well-being of the organism. The maintenance of the cytosolic pH within a physiological range is essential for survival, since all biological processes are affected by pH variability. In this experiment, the cells were imaged for 2 hours and 45 minutes after being kept in the same culture medium for several days. A drop in the pH of the growth medium usually indicates a build-up of the lactic acids which is a byproduct of the metabolism, which progressively lead to death of the cells. Apoptosis is characterized by changes in cell morphology and a series of biochemical events. Let's analyze in detail all these changes. In the first phase, the chromatin undergoes condensation into compact patches against the nuclear envelope. On this video, it's very interesting to see how the DNA is refracted in this change during this phase and how our instrument can detect it. So you can see how the DNA is passed from light blue color to a green color. Then the cells progressively start to lose their water, thus their volume, in a process called cell shrinkage, becoming progressively rounded until they die. Cell shrinkage and rounding are shown because of the breakdown of the cytoskeleton by specific enzymes called caspases. The cell membrane show irregular buds known as apoptotic blebs. We can see how the cells in the bottom on the right panel lost its morphology and became rounded, while the other three cells are in process of dying. We then let the time lapse experiment running for another hour. We can see how the cells in the bottom on the right panel has been completely degraded, while the other three cells have started the apoptotic process. Let's follow the full process focusing the attention on the cells on the right top of the panel. The cells progressively start to shrink and become rounded because of the breakdown of the cytoskeleton. In this case, the cell shrinkage is probably the result of the cytosolic acidification. On this phase, we are able to see the field of view invaded by apoptotic bodies derived from the degradation of other cells. All the cells have lost their morphology and they appear completely rounded.
case 2, NA or H induced necrosis of cancer cells. Necrosis is a form of cell injury which leads to the premature death of cells, caused by factors external to the cell, such as infection, toxins or trauma. In this case, the cells were treated with NA or H1 molar, which caused a dramatic increase of the extracellular pH. At this point, the NA or H was added. The rapid change of pH probably led to the alkaline denaturation of plasma membrane protein. The loss of integrity of the plasma membrane caused an influx of water in the cells, leading to its swelling and finally its explosion.